Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Manuel Briones, coming to you from Hawaii. Right now it's 3.47 p.m. over here on a Sunday, and uh, it's currently 85 degrees. I hope everybody's having the same weather as I am and enjoying the weather today as well. Um, today I would like to discuss the leadership environment um, in reference to the Great Crimson Tide movie that we just recently watched and we've been working on for a while, right? Um, moving on to the next slide. But first, I would like to start off with a quote from the movie itself from Lieutenant Colonel Hunter. Uh, recollecting the movie or going back to the movie, in the first about 20 minutes, there was a scene where everybody was sitting in the mess hall. All the officers were right next to each other, and they were discussing this quote from either a book or from someone in particular talking about war and nuclear war. Um, there was a scene where Lieutenant Colonel Hunter, at the end of it, uh, voiced his opinion, and he said, In the nuclear world, the true enemy can't be destroyed. In the nuclear world, the true enemy is war itself. Uh, I particularly like this quote uh, in the earliest stage, early stages of the movie because this instantly captured my attention, as well as gave me an idea on how the two leaders will be interacting because they were definitely looking at their opinions and engaging each other. Um, it also gave us a hint of the differences of each of the leaders' principles and how this would be affecting their mission throughout the whole movie. Um, so for our agenda, I would like to discuss first of all the um, core leadership style of Captain Ramsey and then we're going to move on to Lieutenant Commander Hunter as his core leadership style as well. And then I will move on to the leadership style that I personally would like to emulate, um, followed by the followership breakdown and give you a little conclusion summary of the situation and then uh, I'll open the floor for questions. So. Captain Ramsey uh, was definitely the epitome of a uh, very authoritative leader based off of the information in the previous readings regarding servant leadership and the core leaders' styles. Um, Captain Ramsey displayed the traits of what an authoritative leader is most definitely throughout, throughout the movie. Um, you would find him telling everyone what to do, how to do it, um, and that definitely showed that the sailors and the, and the submarine that they were working in most definitely trusted his decision based off of his credibility, his uh, experience, and you know obviously he's been there for a while, he's been doing this, so that's why a lot of people trust his, his, his decision regardless if um, they put it, he puts it in a very authoritative manner or not. Me being in the army, which I can relate to this too, um, this is a very common in a military setting. It is very necessary as well to maintain the integrity of the uh, chain of command. Captain Ramsey's experience, you know, like I said, gave him the, the credibility to be able to do this and all that. Given Captain Ramsey's position, though, as the captain of the submarine, he was, had no choice but to be an authoritative leader in this situation. He, in fact, was in charge of making split decisions in spite of different chaotic instances in the movie, you know, getting attacked by another submarine and all that, he, know, he knew that indecision can cause loss of a significant uh, number of people and equipment, and that's why he knows that he has to make that decision. Uh, Lieutenant Commander Hunter, moving on to him, Lieutenant Commander Hunter uh, is more of a delegative leader, I believe, early in the movie. Uh, you remember that they would there was a fire that broke out broke out in the mess hall. He jumped right into action. Um, he assisted in the situation, which in normal world he won't be doing that based off of his rank. But other than the issue was resolved, he was quick to delegate someone to take over the situation, which he chose one of the cooks, I believe. Um, and he had to go scramble and go upstairs because um, Captain Ramsey was trying to do a drill. And he was upset about that, but he was very quick to delegate the 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 responsibility, and that shows that he trusts the support his subordinates. Also, by virtue of his position, uh, Lieutenant Commander Hunter is also a authoritative leader, although it was not prominent as Cap Captain Ramsey's, but he most definitely displayed the authoritative traits throughout their encounters as well. Most particularly when there was also an instance where he had the chief of the boat take control of Captain Ramsey and sent, his, uh, sent Captain Ramsey to his quarters. This showed that the commander exercised his authoritative leader during that instance too, but like what I said, it's not as prominent as, as uh, Captain Ramsey's. 
for my personal preference though by virtue of my rank and position in the military which i'm currently a sergeant first class so that's a e7 by default i have to to have the authoritative leadership trait as well it just comes with a job although i don't have to stick with one i believe uh, i believe that good leaders know when to find the right balance and apply the correct leadership style and all different situations as well um, to tailor the leadership uh, according to the individual subordinates and like I said going back to the situations that's part of it um, followership moving on to that the scene that I chose for the situation was the one where all the officers circling back to my first quote was all the officers were sitting in, sitting in the mess hall discussing their beliefs of a certain individual talking about conflict right the quotes that they were reading off of a book I believe Lieutenant Commander Hunter was not afraid to speak his mind most definitely um, and did not conform to the majority of the group. Obviously, the loyalty of that majority of that group of officers was already with um, the captain, but he was not afraid to voice his opinions, even though he knew that, like what I said, they trust Captain Ramsey more than he because he's a new guy and obviously Captain Ramsey's been a while and been working with them a lot. So with that said, in conclusion, I, I think I wholeheartedly believe that there is no such thing as a perfect leader. Leadership is a continuous learning process that no matter what, there's always room for growth, improvement, um, and it's a continuous learning process. This movie was def definitely uh, something that showed the difficulty of being a leader and what it makes to make the right decisions or even make a decision period, whether it's right or wrong. It was a gamble between the two, uh, Captain Ramsey and Lieutenant Colonel or Lieutenant Commander, and the situation they were put in was definitely was challenging. Good thing Lieutenant Commander uh, Hunter's gamble paid off, though. Uh, pending any questions, that's my slide. Everybody have a nice day.